Johanna and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be painting this beautiful butterfly with watercolors. Let's get started. Let's go over the three basic techniques that I'll be using to create this painting. I will also be creating a separate video on watercolors for beginners. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out. The first is the wet on wet technique. Apply a generous amount of clean water on your paper, then go in with whatever watercolors you would like. As you see here, the watercolors will blend seamlessly. The second is the wet on dry technique. This is just as it sounds, wet watercolor on dry paper. This is perfect for creating crisp lines or edges or more defined shapes and objects. You can also use this technique for fine lines or details. The third technique we'll be using is the splatter technique. Now if you want your splatters to bleed out, you're going to wet your paper first like I'm doing on the top portion. If you want your splatters to be defined, make sure you let your painting fully dry before going in with the splatters. Next, it's time to mix your paint. Remember, the more water you add, the lighter the shade will be. I like to tape down the edges of my painting to ensure that it stays flat while it's drying. Once your edges are taped down, you're ready to go in and sketch the outline of your butterfly. Go ahead and get as precise as you would like. Now go in with your eraser and basically erase all of the pencil markings you just did, leaving behind a very, very faint line. For the first layer of the wings, we're gonna be creating a light gradient, going from the lightest shade of the color to the darkest shade. So I'm just applying a very, very light shade of pink here and then spreading it out to, towards the top. You're gonna wanna work quickly with this technique, adding the darker shades of that same color in the wing before the first initial layer dries. You can go ahead and add whatever details you would like as well for this first layer of the wings. going in with a bold shade right near the body of the butterfly. This will lighten up quite a bit once it's dry, so don't be afraid of how um, dark the color is. I'm just creating the basic shape of the wings now with this underlying base color. first layer dries, you're going to want to go in with any extra details or um, places that you want to add color just so that it bleeds out seamlessly. I waited for the first layer to fully dry and now I'm going in with the wet on dry technique to clean up the edges of the wings and add some depth.
such a harsh line on the wings. For this layer, go ahead and add whatever little details you would like to the edges of the wings. Kind of staying away from the very tip of the wings though, um, keeping it towards the center of the wings. barely any water in it, just enough to activate the paint. just mixing up the paint in preparation for the splatters. I'm going in with the same shade for each wing and splattering in the direction that the wing is going. Now the smaller the brush, the smaller the splatters. I'm also putting in some detail splatters with just a big drop of water and um, a ton of paint on my brush and just dotting it exactly where I want it on the paper. And here is the final result. I plan on uploading weekly videos, so be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to follow me on social media for sneak peeks and behind the scenes. Check out the description box for more details. Thank you so much for watching.